So this question asks about how can we calculate the energy change in the reaction when we take methane, react it with oxygen in combustion to get carbon dioxide and two molecules of water. It says the structural formula in the equation below shows the bonds involved in each molecule. So there's molecule of methane, two molecules of oxygen, that becomes important in a minute, goes to carbon dioxide and two molecules of water. And the question breaks it down, it's going to talk us through how to calculate the energy change overall. The first part it says, write down the bonds broken and the bonds formed during the reaction. Now to do this, we look at the bonds that are given there, we look at the molecules, and we have how many carbon-hydrogen bonds. And I like to cross these off to remind myself that I've done them all. So we have one, two, three, four carbon-hydrogen bonds. Now, when a molecule is on the left-hand side, if it's a reactant, these are the bonds that are broken, these are the bonds that are made. So left-hand side is the ones that are broken. So we have four carbon-hydrogen bonds, one, two, three, four. We have one oxygen-oxygen double bond, so the equal sign means it's a double bond, per molecule, but we have two molecules. So we have two molecules, so that means we have two oxygen-oxygen double bonds. On this side, these are the bonds that are formed. We have one, two carbon-oxygen double bonds. On this side, we have for every water molecule, one, two OH bonds, but there are two molecules. So we have two molecules, each of which have got two OH bonds in. So two molecules, the two bonds, is four OHs. Now, it doesn't matter if it's HO or OH, it's exactly the same thing, it's the, because it's to do with breaking that bond, and that bond is exactly the same as that bond, because it's the same the electrons that are shared. The question then goes on to say, calculate the total energy changes involved in breaking and forming each of the bonds. Now, in the real exam, you'll be given some values, because you can't work these out without having the values in front of you. And if we look at the total energy involved in breaking the bonds, is we have four CHs and two O double bond O's. So we have four times the values of the CH, so we have 4 times 413, because we've worked out there are 4 CHs, there are 2 OHs, O double bond O's, which means we have plus 2 times 498, and the energy change in break in forming the bonds, go back here, we have 2 C double bond O's, so that's 2 times 805, and then if we looked, we had four OHs, the value of one OH bond is 464, plus four times 464, if we work those out, the first number is 2648 kilojoules, and the second value for the total energy involved in the bonds is 34 Six, six kilojoules. The question then goes on to say, describe as fully as you can what the figures in two tell you about the overall reaction. So the energy change of a reaction, energy change of a reaction, you can calculate it, is the energy breaking minus forming Breaking minus forming, BF, like your best friend. And the energy change in breaking the bonds is 2648. Energy change in forming the bonds is 3466. So if you take those two numbers away, you get minus 818 kilojoules. So that tells you two things. It tells you the energy change is 818 kilojoules but there's a minus sign, and because it's a minus sign, it means the reaction gives out heat. It gets hot. So a minus sign means it's exothermic. If the sign were positive, it would be endothermic. So when it's exothermic because there's a negative sign, it 
drops out the equation breaking minus forming. That's a negative number. The reaction is exothermic. Quick check, does it make sense? If you think about it, what happens when you burn methane? So if we go back to the original equation, let's do a sanity check. Methane plus oxygen, like a Bunsen burner. What happens when you burn it? You get carbon dioxide and water. Is it exothermic? Does it get hot? It does get hot. Bunsen burners get hot. That's why they're called burners. So that reassures us that the reaction is exothermic. The calculation looks about right because it's based on the fact that we know that that reaction is an exothermic reaction.